Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this pencil white marker. Number is 100W and can't remember the price. I think it's not too expensive between 5 and 10 dollars. I will put down the link to Amazon into the description down below. Anyway, so you can check it out if you want to order that. So let's go into the review what it is actually it says it writes on yeah a kettle go a little bit closer here it says writes on metal plastic and glass so almost everything white marker bold white lines quick drying here we have some of the description multi-purpose white marker broad tip right bold uh, white lines, quick drying, writes on metal. Yeah, we had this already. Shake well. Uh, listen for agitate. But yeah, we have this inside. We can hear that. So at the beginning, when I opened that from the box, it was not moving. This uh, metal ball inside. Just make sure that you shake really hard that it's moving around. Then remove cap. Then dab tip on test surface until fluid flows white fluid will fill around fiber uh, tip and then for best results unfortunately i've a little bit been writing on that but we hope uh, i hope you can still see that so i think the writing was for best results write with light pressure and always recap of the use so here some more details made in japan and yeah uh, or even the website so here we have it and I've been shaking for some time I've prepared a lot of things I have some glass I have plastic I have metal I have everything the idea how it started for me was to write on a hockey puck because sometimes here yeah, especially in our area on our hockey field they don't provide these pucks anymore for some time they provided it when we had had this skate and shoot now everybody has to bring their own pucks and I actually like to uh, take one with me or two or three and then bring my own bags, not, not just any kind of because my ones are in good condition, usually other ones are not in so good, such good condition and it makes it easier to find them of course. I have already used other things. Uh, didn't stick very long. It kept, uh, yeah, it was on for some time, especially here on the side uh, when you where you have this kind of texture. So it sticks much better than here on the flat surface. But anyway, I tried on everything. I find what I have already find found out is that you have to be really really careful with colored things. So this thing is really like an ag aggressive thing. So when you open the cap, you can definitely smell. Yeah, it doesn't help anyway. You, can, you can't smell on the camera. Uh, it is really an aggressive smell. Probably there's one thing inside. Yeah, uh, it is not described what's in there, I think. But it, it must be some really aggressive thing. And it, it dissolves. Uh, a lot of things like here the color it got almost instantly dissolved it was not just uh, the white over the blue it uh, really removed the blue and at the end I had the blue yeah sometimes it's a little bit hard to open that you have to be careful when you close that I mean you have to close it but don't close it too hard now I have all it closed almost too hard yeah you have to a little bit twist and pull same time now i'm having a hard time to remove it so i hope we can really do the test i brought this pliers and yeah that was easily okay and the good thing is it looks like everything is really sturdy like the cap and the bottle is some kind of metal probably aluminum or something like that so yeah, don't push this uh, lid too hard, otherwise you will be on the road when you need it, you can't open that, that would be a shame, but this, this, this pliers, yeah, definitely worked. So let's start and uh, shake it a little bit again. 
Okay, so I have already pushed this down this morning, so it's white. At the beginning it was more like a beige, and now it has turned white. So it needs some time, a couple of minutes, till it, till it fills. Uh, when you push it inside, it comes down a little bit with the white. So I'm trying to write, yeah, that is really, really nice. Okay, yeah, for the puck, really, really nice. I'll do the same thing on the outside. Yeah, that's a nice thing. So for pucks, I would say, yeah, definitely a success. I can't tell you at the moment how long it lasts. You can see it's very uh, liquid, so it hasn't dried already. It looks like it's still wet, so we have to be careful with that can see that here as well really wet so it says uh, fast dry quick drying yeah I mean I have seen things drying uh, much quicker so it's no comparison to a normal uh, pen so you can definitely not compare it to just a normal permanent marker where you just make something like this and then you can just go over it and yeah it's already dried and nothing will happen it's a different thing so i would say takes oh wow yeah <laughs> you see yeah behind the camera i didn't see that and i touched the area and now i'm white and the thing is i already tried this morning uh, when it's on your skin it will stay on your skin for quite a while i mean not days but uh, you can see and it's hard to get rid of and it is some kind of sticky then so you have to give it a couple of minutes i would say maybe 10 minutes or so i would expect it's still very very liquid we keep this uh, on the side to check now and we will see then we will see how long it takes to dry but looks really especially when you have a lot of them i mean it depends on how much you push down uh, you more you push down the more liquid we have but if you have a lot like we had here yeah it can take definitely quite some time to dry it's still definitely wet so let's try on plastic now i have brought this bottle here now again yeah a little bit stuck and uh, right on that yeah that's nice so you could definitely like if you feel something if you have like a weed spray or buck spray fill something into such a bottle looks like it is you can definitely apply this i will later check how good it will hold up at the moment also wet i have to let it dry let's go to the metal here and do the same thing yeah it doesn't look too bad also nicely sticking glass looks good metal they said metal okay let's try metal hope we can see that yeah that should be able i mean it's just a small surface but if you have a large surface you can definitely make your uh, initials or whatsoever shouldn't be a problem um yeah it, it, it sticks nicely well that's usually a problem when you have just normal color you will put normal color onto metal or glass or sometimes plastic it, it doesn't really stick so here it, it looks like it's not a problem also let's try this here i'll do it yeah also yeah let's do it on the cap as well hope you can see that i'll make just something like that usually it can be really difficult to write on such a cap it's usually really hard to find something uh white where we can write white on black i mean to find something black to write on white it's not a problem but white on black it's definitely a problem do we have here like a cardboard that's my last thing uh, sometimes we get this code here 
which you want to cover. Sometimes it's really difficult to remove everything when you want to ship it back to Amazon or so. Then you ha they say do you have to remove all these stickers and sometimes it's difficult without damaging the cardboard and sometimes I prefer to just cover it up and let's see if we can cover this up nicely. Yeah, uh, works somehow, but you can see it's dangerous. Like uh, you see here, the black now is, uh, yeah, I mean, we have definitely destroyed the code. It's not readable anymore, but now we have too much black. And when we start writing somewhere, the black is now here. That's not what we want. So we have now to get rid of the black again. That's not a good thing. So not a good idea to go on the black. There are better solutions, I think. Uh, this is not really new. I have used this for quite some time. Uh, it may be a little bit dry, but uh, it's the only thing which I have found which covers up uh, nicely with white and it also uh, sticks really good and it doesn't, yeah, what I wanted to show you, this is not black. Now, you see the difference? When you have such an aggressive uh, thing like this one here, so it uh, dissolves the black and the black is then on the tip here. That's uh, nothing like this happens. So uh, anyway, I will put down the link to the Amazon listing of this one as well into the description because that's, this is a really interesting thing. And a lot of people don't know or they are not aware of that, that something like this exists. And this is a really nice thing. You can use it for a lot of things if you have a white pool. I have even used it on the water. These things, this thing really right. Uh, yeah, it, it, it is water resistant and it writes under water. I have used it down in my pool. I did some repair and I covered the area with this one and it really dried. It's a super interesting thing. It's it's crazy what, what, what you can do. But it doesn't have a fine tip. You have to let it dry for five minutes here and then it's absolutely dry and you can rub on top of it and nothing will happen. And it's a couple of years old so it looks like it stays like this for quite some time as you have been able to see uh, when I started it was a little bit hot so it, it was a little bit dried on top but uh, yeah after you start a little bit it, uh, it it was doing well so it's not perfect as you can see here but I think it would be good for an Amazon return usually I don't cover such large areas I usually use it just when I have just really small barcodes yeah here i have even one last thing which is really interesting like a pet bottle and if you want to use that for something specific like i have this acv means apple cider vinegar uh, mixture could be really interesting if you could write on it but maybe it would make sense to uh, have a, just a normal black uh, permanent like permanent writer yeah let's take this a c v yeah that's probably better visible even black unfortunately i don't have the black i have the red so it would be probably good to write black on it but we can see it's also nice here no problem at all what i have noticed now i would say it's about five minutes now since we have started with the puck and when you look at it it looks still totally wet and it's really shiny as you can see you would expect that it's still wet when we top on it uh, it's not wet it's uh, it has dried so it has dried with really shiny gloss really interesting also here where we had really a lot so it looks like, um, yeah, it's fully sticking, not doing anything. I mean, the question is, how would it really uh, stick? How much? Um, yeah, when we go over it, I mean, with the fingernail, we can remove it, as you can see. Yeah, definitely. It is not super hard. You can remove, but if you don't use like sharp things like your fingernail, you can see 
it's holding up nicely so for pucks i don't know probably on the side will be good here on top yeah it will go away after some time of course when it goes over the ice uh yeah probably doesn't last forever i have made similar uh experience with other markers so on top and here so it's difficult on the side it's much better so let's go to the plastic here uh yeah looks similar as you can see looks wet and but let's found find out yeah looks good looks good i mean if i scratch it yeah no no question about that we can definitely remove that it's no questions you can see we can easily remove that that's also good to know in case you just need something not permanently like just temporarily it will stay i would say yeah when we take some kind of water here we have like uh yeah water uh probably yeah this uh, ac v uh would be, probably go away because it's a little bit uh, sharper but with normal water yeah it stays definitely so no problem with that you can see it's wet here and it stays it, that that's a really nice thing actually as long as you know what to expect it sticks on plastic but you can remove it like with your fingernails or like with a piece of wood uh, looks like everywhere same thing here sticks nicely no problem with that in daily use you can uh, you can uh, yeah it will stay there if you start scratching with something like fingernail you can remove i think it will be the same everywhere also here on this plastic bottle nicely sticking no problem and i i didn't clean all these surfaces uh yeah i didn't do anything so here yeah it was just not so long I mean that was real time now no breaks no nothing probably two minutes uh when i yeah two minutes ago i applied that and it's already dry nice sticking shiny uh yeah i almost like this a little bit better it, it's not so cheap not so aggressive could be a good thing to write on almost anything i didn't expect that it's it's better than what i expected um, it all really almost sticks to everything you just remember you just have to be careful not to write on any kind of color i mean color on this plastic won't do anything but color on the like here from this printing uh, don't write on something like this it will dissolve and then uh, turn the tip uh, into this it, it will take up or pick up the color also here like I, I mean that's actually writing on this paper these black stripes and it will dissolve it and then you have it on the tip not so good so here you can see it's covered but also this one it, this is a little bit more sticky needs a little bit more time but the good thing is it writes even to more surfaces and even on the water and yeah it doesn't pick up the color that's the huge advantage of this one so right on the water and doesn't pick up any kind of color like this one so both have definitely their advantages and um i think i'm actually good with both of them and so i will keep both of them so i have uh, something for whatever I need it or wherever I need it so both are really good and again I will put down the links of both of them into down into the description so you can check them out order them right from there from Amazon and I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time